Those of you who've worked with WordPerfect probably remember a feature called Block Protect. The premise was simple. If you needed to keep a certain block of text together on a single page, you selected it and applied Block Protect. That way, WordPerfect knew that those lines shouldn't be interrupted by a page break. Word takes this one step further with two distinct forms of Block Protect. Keep with Next and Keep Lines Together. So, what's the difference and how would you know when to use which or both? Keep with Next keeps lines from separate paragraphs together on a single page, e.g. a heading and the following paragraph. It's for a block of text that has one or more hard returns or line breaks in the middle of it. Keep Lines Together keeps two or more lines of a single paragraph together. In other words, it's keeping a block of text that doesn't have a hard return or line break within the block all on one page. Let's look at a couple of examples. Often a Word user who sees this happen, a heading separated by a soft page break from its following paragraph, will resort to stuffing a bunch of hard returns above the heading to force the heading beneath the page break. That may work in the short term, but if you edit that document again, you might find that the pagination changes and leaves you with a big honking space in the middle of your document. There's a better way. If you always want to be sure your headings are always connected to their following paragraphs and not separated from them by a page break, be sure to turn on Keep With Next for that heading or, ideally, the underlying style. To do that for an individual heading, right-click on the heading and choose Paragraph to go to the Paragraph dialog box. Go to the Line and Page Breaks tab and check Keep With Next. If you want a bit of vertical space between your headings and your following paragraph, don't insert a paragraph break between your heading and your paragraph. What will end up happening is that your heading will be block protected with that blank hard return, not your paragraph. Instead, go to the Indents and Spacing tab in the Paragraph dialog box, and in the Spacing section in the lower half of the dialog box, put a few points of space in the After box. Usually, if you want one line's worth of space between your heading and your following paragraph, you should put the same number of points as the font size. In other words, if you're using a 12-point font, put 12 points of space after the heading. Click OK to finish. To do that for a heading style so that all of the headings at that particular level are protected, right-click on the heading style and choose Modify from the menu. If you can't figure out which heading style is assigned to that text, press Shift F1 to bring up the Reveal Formatting pane and look under the Paragraph section for Paragraph Style. Clicking Modify here will take you to the Style dialog box with that style selected. Click the Modify button to continue. Within the Modify Style dialog box, click the Format button on the lower left-hand corner and choose Paragraph to go to the Paragraph dialog box. As with the prior example, go to the Line and Page Breaks tab and check the box next to Keep with Next. Again, if you want your heading to have more vertical space between it and its following paragraph, set that here in the spacing area with a few points of space in the After field. For example, if you want one full line's worth of space between your heading and the following paragraph, use the same point measurement as your font size. Click OK in the Paragraph dialog box and again in the Modify Style dialog box. Then click Close in the Style dialog box to return to your document. Sometimes it's necessary to keep all or some of the lines in a single paragraph together on a particular page. That's what Keep Lines Together does. Just select the lines you want to be sure are not broken by page break, right-click, and choose Paragraph. Then go to the Line and Page Breaks tab and check the Keep Lines Together box. Click OK to return to your document. By the way, you probably noticed on that same Line and Page Breaks tab the Widow Orphan Control checkbox. Widows and Orphans refers to a single line from a paragraph being left on a preceding or following page. Widows are a paragraph ending line that falls at the beginning of the following page, while Orphans are single paragraph opening lines which appear at the bottom of a page, both of which are considered undesirable document formatting. Setting Widow Orphan Control will prevent you from having to search these instances out and apply manual block protection. To apply this setting to your entire document, Press Control A to select all of the text in the document, then right click and choose Paragraph. Then go to the Line and Page Breaks tab, 
and check the Widow Orphan Control checkbox. If that setting is enabled for some but not all of your document, you may find that the box has a small black square in it rather than being blank or having a check mark in it. Click until you see the check mark appear in the box to ensure the entire document has Widow Orphan Control applied to it. Click OK to return to your document. On the same tab, there's a checkbox labeled Page Break Before. There may be instances in which you want to ensure that a particular paragraph or heading starts on a new page. Just place your cursor on that line, right click, and choose Paragraph. Then on the Line and Page Breaks tab, check the box next to Page Break Before. Click OK to return to your document. If you find that a document you're working with paginates strangely, it may be due to one of these forms of Block Protect being badly or overused. If you turn on Show Hide by toggling on the Paragraph button in the middle of the Home tab, you'll see a small black square to the left of any lines or paragraphs which may have some kind of Block Protect applied to them. Once you've identified those paragraphs, you can select them or use Control A to select the entire document, right click, and choose Paragraph to go to the Paragraph dialog box, then turn off whichever forms of Block Protect are showing on the Line and Page Breaks tab. If you see black boxes instead of check marks next to any of the Block Protect features, you may have to click a couple of times to clear the box. Once you click OK and return to your document, you should find the pagination much improved. You may still need to reapply some Block Protection in selected spots to get the pagination you want. Want even more formatting tips? Click to download my Fast Formatting Fixes Guide over on the right, or watch my Word Formatting Fixes playlist.